Because Manthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Which should I choose? to go next if you'd like to see Liu as tourist spots I have a few references hey what's up everyone Man, I need some WD-40 on this that's squeaky <laughs> uh, the things I notice only after I start the stream uh, my Zhongli has better be paying for himself y'all over here talking about wine all right well Got him level 90. I got him maxed out. It's pretty good artifacts. I need still need to swap a few out or get some refined. But I am working on Bennett. Because he's a really good support. But I don't have the stuff to do it. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some farming and some work here. Let's see. In order for his next ascension. Wow. Yeah, these are not, not a problem. The rest of it, yeah. This is going to be a uh, another task. But, I can get some books today. I'm going to have to remember to do that. I do have condensed resin. All right, I got all three. Sweet. Okay, so where do I start today? The dailies. Got to do the dailies. Where are they today? Way over here. I'm like Zhang Li. I really am. But man. If I can get Bennett really going along with that, that it's. I, I, I took him out for a little bit of a test run just to see what I could do. And it was, uh, it was pretty good. Does that work with her sword? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> nice. Didn't know if that worked with that or not. Sure as hell does. All right, I'm liking Bennett more and more. I mean, even though his talent's only level one, I've hardly done any work on him. It's still significant. All right, I have to keep that up. Of course, I run into a fire guy right off the bat. Um, I just run to there? Yeah, might as well as a lookout. I was to pick that up while I'm here. Still haven't done the Zhongli uh, story quest. I should, should probably get to that. Hmm. Afandi, thanks for the like. Oh. 
I hate it when my camera does that. This is the only game that does that where like the camera will like snap for some reason. Pretty sure I don't have anything on to make it do that. All right, what we got here? More beat 'em up, I hope. Oh, it's a guard thingy. Okay. Impregnable defense. Yeah, it's probably not going to be impregnable. This area does not look familiar at all. It really doesn't. Like, I don't remember this little bridge looking thing here at all. I was hoping there would be like a treasure chest or something around here. Actually, what's my percentage for this area? 100%, so I probably did. Come and play. Come, on. Come over here, but bring bring your earth shields while you're at it. Yeah. Fucking wrecked. <laughs> I just I love that. I don't care. I just love it. <laughs> There's gotta be more than just them two. Oh, there is. You stay stay away from my pillar thing, whatever the hell it is. Get off of there! What are you doing? Blowing up the whole damn world is what I'm doing. What are you doing? How'd you get up there? Jerk. I was trying to get that thing without t it taking any damage, but he decided to, you know, climb a thing. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of this. I think there's someone shooting at it. Yeah, there is! I have to climb my pillar to climb this pillar to kill you. Okay, then. That's cheating. Spawning the archers right there and there. That's, that's straight up cheating. I call BS. Where's the other ones? There's only two of them, right? Maybe if I zoom in a little, that'll help. There we go. Pudgy pyrotechnicians. I think I've done this one. Like all the way down or? Ah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you didn't even get hurt. What's the matter? A planet falls on your face and you don't get hurt? Here, have another one. That guy's immune! There's something ain't right with that. I'm gonna loot while I fight. There's another one for you. This recharges so damn quick. Do need to work on his standard damage though. I got my, my crit rate is ridiculous. I need to lower that and get crit damage in. Maybe some base attack too. Find that There's some loot out here. So oh. well, at least he's good at mining. Don't climb it, pump. There you go. Sunset. Uh, yeah. All right. What else to do? Now, don't tell me I got to play pirate with the kids again. Probably do. Go play pirate. 
<laughs> I swear I'm gonna die in that stupid little pool. I was over this way, right? Yeah. It's the kids. Or a kid. Oh, where's the rest of them? Little Mang's in a bad mood. Oh, darn. <laughs> Grab something from Yang Er's place. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but whatever. That is way over there. Okay. So they just gotta find a way up there. I don't like following their little trail because half the time the trail goes wherever the hell it wants. I can play backwards. He wants perfume. Okay. <laughs> Hope I didn't actually have to pay three thousand for it because that kind of sucked, but whatever. Do I have an achievement or something, too? Something else popped in. Okay, so the quest was go get a little kid at some adult perfume. That's not right. <laughs> and then I bribed the lady to make it. That's, that even makes it even worse. Okay, then. Oh, is this done? I'm guessing not. You hit F5. Yep, not there. Do need to do that, though. Yeah, that should be the dailies. I think I actually had something sitting here going. Nope, didn't. Ah. I am low on like all after maxing out Zhang Li, I am just broke on resources. Add oh, every little bit matters. Add Astra and Amber's done getting money. Did I send him out at something else. I need those stupid lotus caps, so I'm gonna send her out here. Here, go go get me some shrooms. Shrooms are good. Ah, uh, what else do I need? Probably running low on some of my foodies. And I probably can't cook them either. I can. One. Wow, okay. Cook that whole one. Or anything else worth cooking? That takes bacon. How the hell do I make bacon? I want bacon. Bacon pancakes. Okay, those are done. Now I got some stuff to spend. And what are those? Why have I never noticed these over here before? Alright. Probably should do a boss or two here. Now, Bennett needs those, but he also needs books pretty bad. <coughs> See, I think I need... How many chunks do I need? Oh, wow. Where did that come from? 
I need all the chunks. Oh, that's going to take a long time to get. Oh, that probably means I should start now. Let's see, I got a character set up for that. Is that it? No. Fire boss. Sure. All right, let's go whoop this thing. See, I know I need to do the fire boss, I need to do geo boss, because I'm getting Noel uh, Noel maxed out too. She's just, I geared her out and she good. She actually does some serious DPS, especially with that Bennett's freaking uh, AOE thing. I didn't even bother to think about that, but damn. Why do I keep coming this way? The other way is quicker. And that, that last episode of like Kuma Bear that I watched. Oh my god. This, I watched the episode that I put the review up there. I watched the episode put the review up or the summary or whatever. And I don't want to watch no more of it. It's so bad. This was freaking horrendous. Did not hit nearly as hard as I figured it would with all this stuff. Let's see. Die quicker. At least one legendary in there. And it's probably garbage. Okay, how many slivers? Two slivers, one frag. That's crap. Ah, I wish the ratio of the slivers that you got with the Everflame seeds and the other components or whatever were like a little more even because... I'm going to have a lot of Everflame Sleeds and nothing to do with them. Or, you know, they'll probably come out with some characters at some point that, like, mix and match stuff. That could be weird. All right, let's go smack the Geo boss. Hopefully I don't have... Yeah, I do have to do them a whole bunch of times. I'm doing the Geo boss. I don't want this party. Uh, that one'll work. Uh, Bennett, you need to get charged the hell up. One thing Zhang Li's good for. <laughs> yeah, that was worth like fifteen hundred dollars or whatever the hell it is I spent on them. Uh, he's he's still an awesome character, but damn, that costs way too much. Throw this here, I guess. <laughs> I freaking just love Noel's AoE. I don't care. That's a lot of good geo. Crab, get the crab. Okay. Another crab. Need crabs whenever I see them. I need to make my jade parcels. Alright, got you there. I'm worried about these guys. They're too busy digging for crabs. Or whatever the hell. I should plan it before the birds. Oh, I'm going to do that in Timmy's birds. I'm going <laughs> to plan it before Timmy's birds. Yes. Got 
How you doing? Do -do -do. Come on. There we go. I wonder if I should be using... How much damage is it? I did not want to do that hurts, though. And I might speed things up. Don't hit that one. Okay. It's easy, but it's just tedious. Oh, poop. That kind of hurt. <laughs> Oops. Really? You can stop shooting that now. I'm not, I'm not going to walk into it anymore. Okay. Oh, shit. You know, I probably should have put uh, what's his nuts in here. <laughs> Damn it, I forgot. The only reason I'm doing this is to heal up a little. While he's still blocked, I think it's still, he still has a chance. Yeah, maybe not. Where are you going? Oh, okay, so that still hits after. Wow, jerk. Yeah. I should have brought somebody else. It's taking way too long to get him. Did not actually mean to do that, but whatever. Where are you going? Which one? Well, then you go over there. I see how it is. Apparently, I'm standing in shit again. This is taking a lot longer than what I was thinking. Usually, I got Child in here, and he tears it up. Taking way too long. I got the wrong group made. Couldn't just finish that up, could you? No, couldn't. Well, this is where you come in handy. That took too much. <laughs> no legendaries. Two topaz fragments, two slivers. Uh, there's a ch there's a chance I get a gemstone too, but never got one off of these, like ever. Rare occasion I'll get a chunk. Never a gemstone. That's kind of sad. Okay, I, me I messed that fight up. Pretty bad. Okay, so where do I want to go? Wants to go to... Uh, let's see, one. Bennett needs his talents leveled up, especially this, so I need... Oh, not the frozen abyss. Isn't that the one? That's the one that drains. And it's Tuesday for, why did I think it's Thursday? Well, change plans. Okay, so where do I go now? <laughs> Shit.
I can't level those up because of that. Wednesday. Tuesday, Friday. What's Thursdays? Nothing? Could be start working on somebody else, I guess. I should work on Mona. Got a couple of other things here with the... <laughs> what is that? Normal attack is 20% chance automatically followed by a charge. Oh! That's not bad. Oh. But who should I work on? Balance. You're doing pretty good. I don't... Yeah, nothing I can do with you. Weekly, gotta wait for that. Monday, Thursday. Okay, so I can get Prosperity if I want. That worth doing right now. Tuesday, Friday. Damn it! Oh, there's so many things I want to level up. Or should I just artifact grind? Oh, I remember what I need to do, you dumbass. Osmanthic. Weapon ants. Thursday. Ha! That's where I'm going. Get your ass over there. All right, I want to take Zhang Li in here, just because. What other characters? Cryo. Now let's see. The only leveled up Cryo guy I got her is you, but none of your artifacts are all that good. Well, if I have to take Zhang, I'll take Zhang. I mean, there's a reason why I worked on them a bit. Can I make any more diligence? Eh, probably not. His weapon freaking sucks, though. <laughs> Debate club. You know, if I took Deluke's uh, sword off of him and put it on him, it'd probably be pretty damn good. Stick to using him, though. All right. Let's see if Zhang Li actually uh, holds up in here. If somebody brings a Bennett, that'd be even better. Archie, look at you. And he's brought. Oh, there is a Bennett. Oh, well, there was. Damn it. And so apparently everybody wants to use uh, Zhang Li. <laughs> Mantis wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? I guess I kind of want to use mine because he's 90. Mine's 90. Yours is 80 and yours is 80. Ah, there you go. All right, Delios. Change your shit. Mine's 90. There we go. <laughs> I beat up my level. No, it's just a matter of uh, gearing him out, doing the right shit. I think he's actually pretty good. Archie with that fire. All right. There we go. Every journey has its I love my Zhang Li, it's fine. His normal attacks hit lower on average, definitely, but his ultimate, my god. Without putting much effort in on it, <laughs> is pretty good. Just for the hell of it, I'm gonna pop a foodie. There. Oh, sh! Oops. <laughs> my dumb ass. I wasted it. This is why I need new keybind. 
God, I did not want to waste that. I, where the fuck am I? <laughs> There's too many constructs. Forty-four K hits. That's fine. I fucked up though. <laughs> I did totally fuck up. Seven of okay, seven of one, four of the other. That's all good. If there was a Bennett in there, it'd be even better. As Zhongli, you just need the, the right artifacts and all that stuff on them. Yeah, thanks for like, Steven. All the right stuff. Kind of the right group makeup, too, and then you can just turn him into a, just an absolute beast. On his own, he's pretty good. It's all, I mean, I'm just walking around on my own with another Geo character in the in the thing, it's doing like 32, 34k crits or whatever with his uh, befall. I mean, shit. <laughs> Nothing else hits that hard, that's for damn sure. Oh, uh, well, it's not a rare character, apparently. <laughs> Stupid. Am I the only level 90? Ha <laughs> I'm the best. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> wine tastes the same as I level 90 C6. There's not going to be many of those floating around. Oh, man. <laughs> if you saw that video, watch the video of me rolling for him. I, 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 have, I wanted to cry. You know how in the pity system or whatever, like, your first, your, like, your first one's always, like, a 50-50 chance of getting Zhongli, and the second one's guaranteed? Every single one that I had a 50-50 chance, I got other characters. I got two Kikis, a Jean... And two Monas <laughs> in the process of getting that. It was stupid. But I do have good, uh, gooder -er characters now, I guess. You're getting pushed around by my own shit, I think.
Use it while I can. I don't think that... I couldn't see my number when I hit him. A little bit better of a hit. This is gotta watch my damn timer. Like, I wasn't expecting to get a Kiki. I wasn't expecting to get half the stuff that I got. But I guess I shouldn't complain, but my wallet is looking at me like I'm a dumbass, so. Oh, man. And I got a nice five-star weapon on him, too, that I wish I had more copies of. But, you know, that's not going to happen unless by uh, your luck. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. <laughs> Everybody's got Zhongli. Those who share the memory. Quake! This is just dumb. I can make two. Oh, I replaced that one. Great mom platformer. <laughs> this is so dumb. It almost seems that way, like he like he uses dumb trucks with a spear. I can kind of see that. Eh, a little bit, a little bit. The other guy, oh, somebody left. Somebody left and came in or something. Um, you sure you want to do that? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Oh, I couldn't summon it there. It did summon it. How the hell is somebody in there? Okay. Quick. All right, try this again. <laughs> yes, C1, absolutely C1. I don't know how many times it's going to have to go in there. But yes, uh, C1, if you're going for Zongli, C1 is almost a necessity. It lets you put out two of the uh, towers, so it kind of doubles up your AoE.
<laughs> I use another food. Should use a I should use a big one, but yeah, let's use some cheap crap. Oh shit. My dumb ass is <laughs> sitting here not paying any attention. I'll make quick work of them, shit. <laughs> like, squished in between everything. I can't do nothing. Go that way. Oh, kill her. Or get sucked over here, whatever. I don't know if that hit anything. <laughs> I really don't. I couldn't. I couldn't see numbers. I don't know what it's doing. She was in the air and I put it down and like shot up her ass. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Ooh! Got a gold one. I did write thanks in there, didn't I? That might be enough to get that weapon leveled. <sighs> Just might be enough. I needed three total. There was one direct that dropped, so I need to make two more gold ones. If I do that, I'll have my weapon max ascension too. Which means... It I don't know if my crit rate's going to go up or not with that. Pro probably. My crit rate's is too too damn high. My crit rate's way too damn high. It's like 76%. It's really just a weapon and one artifact. Doing most of that. Alright. Weapon ascension materials. I can just create two from that. Good. Be all I need. <laughs> so his base attack's going to go up, but the crit rate's not going to change. All right. Six twenty one, twenty point one. All right. Wonder if the crit rate will go up anymore. Wow, all that can't even get a level out of the damn thing. Wow. Oh, I only got that many of these. Oh. Well, I don't know. If, I don't think crit rate's going to uh, go any place wait a minute all right oh a little bit by little bit
Good weapon. That's for damn sure. But I really need to farm ore. <laughs> I need... There's so much shit that I need. I know I sat here earlier and I put some in here to make. Let's see. But I am pretty much out of ore. How much of this stuff that I got? Is it worth farm doing that? I don't want to go completely broke on that stuff. I don't think I have enough for another level. I'll get there. <laughs> uh, all that for five attack. All right. I'm hoping the crit rate goes up a little bit more. If it does, then I can really sacrifice some other uh, stuff. I mean, crit rate's already stupid. But he's better now. All right. Well, I did that, so I ain't got to do it no more. What else can I do? Noelle's weapon, I don't think is... Yeah, I can't do anything else with that. It is six-starred, right? Yeah. All right, well, I could level it up, but I ain't going to waste my materials right now. Uh, his weapon's doing real good. Little prototype Aminus, it's pretty good for Deluke. Let's see... Bavinus Sword actually isn't bad for uh, Bennett just, just using him as a support. But energy recharge. Oh, let's see. One of the primary things I need are just the boss materials. And these. Many of them. I don't want to get them up four levels, so I probably need to do uh, ley lines too. But that's not going to matter unless I got chunks, and I don't have the chunks. Can I craft any? I can create one fragment. And then one chunk. <laughs> it takes so long to get shit going in this game, man. I mean, it took me a long time to save up all the stuff for Zhang Li. That's worth it, though. The same as I remember. <sighs> is it three or say it's six? Six of those, and it's going to take six gemstones after. Oh, man. Maybe I should just wait till I hit... Is there another world level? I think there's world level eight at... 55, maybe? Ad Astra at yep. Hmm. I'm not going to get there anytime soon, but typically that should raise the number and or quality of the traps. Lucy, thanks for the like. Appreciate it. Let's see. That's not terribly much reward there either. For the whole quest chain, that's it? Yeah. Oh, looking forward to Adventure Rank 55 now. <laughs> Alright. So what is the plan? How, who do I improve? What do I do? If I do ley lines, I'll just be banging those things out left and right, get leveling material. That's all good. I don't have ascension material. And artifacts. I need a new cup for him. That's like it. So I don't really need to do that. 
what I do need yeah, is just leveling material and uh, grinding. That's it, Geo Boss and the other one. Ooh, let me go. Let me go check. I know I'm pretty far away, but I need to check my Geo uh, shards. Craft that. Can only get one chunk. That's fine. Which means it's going to be a long time before I get Noel maxed. My goal, like with all the gacha games I play, is to max out everyone. But it's just going to take so long and so much. Hmm. Especially Kiki. I mean, I, I got two of her trying to go for Zhang Li. I already looked that up. I don't need that. Sucrose. What do you need? Apparently not much. But freedom, Thursday. Why am I not leveling this up? I think I held it off to the side just because I'm not sure. All right, let's see. Should I go ahead and get this quest line taken care of. That's pretty far away. What the hell is it doing out there? Oh, that's the boat out there. Okay. Stupid boat. Oh, but I can talk to, I can talk to a, some guy on the thing. He'll ferry me out there. Almost forgot about that. I can remember where that is. Not that guy. Or is it? It might be that guy. I remember being a small boat, not that. Pretty sure it's not that. Unless he's someplace else. Yeah, I can't even talk to him. How about you? Nope. I'm pretty sure there's a guy that ferries you out there. Can't talk to any of them. Is there anybody up there? No. Well, shit. We're falling off now. You stand on top of it without falling. Probably the best thing is to try to jump from there. I'm going to get killed, ain't I? Unless I use somebody with frost. Where do Screw you it. want to go next? If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, I have a few references. This is going to be bad, ain't it? I'll be teleporting here in a second if it does don't work. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Just kind of creep up here. Nice and easy. Right onto the side of that. Nice and easy. And there you Whoo! <laughs> that was close.
Okay, so I have to talk to myself. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I didn't think I would see you here. Are these two your friends? Yes, we had the fortune of meeting not too long ago. They are quite a knowledgeable and talented pair, and a pleasure to be around. Traveler, we were just discussing the history of Rex Lapis. <laughs> Talking about his own history. Uh, this good sir seems not to appreciate the almighty power of the Lord of Geo. As a professional archaeologist, I'm inclined to correct some of his erroneous views. We are discussing the whereabouts of the first Mora. First Mora. As everyone knows, the Lord of Geo taught the ancient people of Lyra the craft of smelting creating goods that allowed them to develop trade with the early nations of that time. Today, Liyue holds the sole right to cast Mora in the entire continent of Tavath. The world's very first Mora should have been cast by the hands of the Lord of Geo himself thousands of years ago. And he probably still has it. To my research, as well as my own hypothesis, I believe that this coin of unique historical significance has been passed down secretly through the years as a kind of token. For example, Perhaps the Chi Sing who control the Liyue use it in some kind of unknown ceremony they hold when they come to power. No, oh, no, no. My research indicates that the first Mora coin is not such a simple thing. He's probably got it on him. Mora is a cattle. This we all know. Even today, Mora is used in the mystic arts for its curious properties of weapon enhancement. And the world's first Mora would no doubt possess the strongest power. In my next historical treatise will boldly expound on the newest findings from my intense decade long. So he researched the coin for a decade. That is, that the Lord of Geo used this original Mora as a catalyst to enhance a dagger and a sword. Ooh, do I get a free dagger and a sword? Well, be buy nice. the book when it comes out to read the full story. For now, I will only reveal this. The one who finds the dagger shall become supreme in Liyue. And the one who finds the sword may be crowned Liyue's sovereign. I can't say I agree. <laughs> <clears throat> Let us not speak of the <coughs> authenticity of the dagger and sword first. But Mora and money came about simply because they are a convenient measure of a contract's value. Rex Lapis just meant for Mora to serve as a catalyst for people to exchange and trade. The world's first Mora is probably just an ordinary coin created by Rex Lapis. As for its fate, the same as all Mora, I suspect. It was simply spent somewhere. No, he doesn't have it. I think that Mr. Hanshua's hypothesis seems reasonable. Mr. Zhongli's argument, on the other hand, lacks any evidence. How can you so easily dismiss <laughs> the Lord of Geo's profound foresight? You know, he's got to be just playing with them. No, no, I am not debating right or wrong. I am simply stating a fact. Enough. Do you think you understand the Lord of Geo more than me? I know but little about history, and I wouldn't dare to brag. But discussion is meaningless if everyone has the same opinion, no? Well then, answer me this. <laughs> Long ago, when Liyue Harbor was being constructed, the Lord of Geo taught the people how to build houses. The model home he used to teach them was completely cast from Mora, correct? No. That is correct. Oh, okay, it was. <laughs> you made a money house, literally. Okay, then tell me. Why would the Lord of Geo do something so extravagant if not because of the mystical power that Mora contains? There's a simple explanation, really. To the god of wealth and commerce, what material is easier to get than Mora? Uh, oh. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I am talking about Rex Lapis. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Uh... I have some questions about archaeology. Can we find somewhere quiet to chat? I mean, if it's okay with you. Oh, it's no problem <laughs> at all. But may my friend accompany us? Perhaps they could be of some help. 
Of course. They can come if that's what pleases you, sir. Let's go. She knows. All right. Where to now? So if you're speaking in private, you just walk over here. All right. What I'm about to say is a bit disrespectful of the Lord of Geo and would draw a lot of angry looks. So it's best to discuss this somewhere quiet. Your argument just now exhibited acuteness of speech and thought. Most importantly, you don't fall for the boasting and acting of the others. You remain objective. So I have a question for you. Perhaps you will answer differently from other scholars. Do you think that all the gods that the Geo Archon killed were evil? Let's not analyze it in terms of good versus evil. Hmm. Rex Lapis placed great importance on the integrity of contracts. So any gods he killed certainly must have broken some kind of contract. Oh, not voiced. But when I was doing some research, I learned about the legend of the God of Salt. There's a God for Salt, too. The God of Salt. It must be pretty salty. Was a very uh, yeah. that she encountered Morax one day in battle. <laughs> Morax used a rather underhanded trick to assassinate her. Apparently they forgot to voice Paimon. This, this bit of history is a long story. But you may not like the truth when you hear it. Don't worry, please tell me what you know. This event, I have already searched for answers for a long time. Quite so. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. <laughs> Is this questline all storyline? Over here, Mr. Zhang Li. I've been looking for you. <laughs> ah, so you're over here all this time. Ah, uh, why didn't they met a voice her? I'm not holding a weapon. There's no need to overreact now. I'm simply an archaeological researcher from Snezhnaya. I'm not here for trouble. But this time, I registered with the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. I could show you the official documentation if you want to see it. I will be conducting an archaeological survey here, the results of which will all be shared with the Ministry. I heard that Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor had a consultant named Zhang Li with immense knowledge of ancient history and archaeology. So I paid Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor a handsome amount to hire Zhang Li as my own consultant while I'm in town. <laughs> so he hired a guy and he don't even know it. So you mean to say that this is work for the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor, yes? Well, since it's work, I don't have a choice. A consultant of the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor must respect their duty. Of course you would be such a reasonable man. Well then, let's head out now, shall we? Wait, if you are studying archaeology, can I go too? I am also a scholar in this field, so I can help. That will give us a chance to continue the topic we were just discussing. Oh, and you should tag along too. This experience may be of help to you on your future adventures. It is Did she just get fired? Got future endeavored. Seven. Although the god of salt has already perished, it will still be a meaningful experience for your journey. This is... wait. This is an archaeological expedition, not a tour group. That's too many people. But this friend of mine has a treasure-finding talent, surpassed by no one. It will surely be of great help to us. Oh? What talent? If my friend espies a treasure chest, they will absolutely find a way to open it. <laughs> well, that is quite enticing. All right, then. Well, let's go. There's no time to waste. When the Overlord of the Vortex was crushed by the Jade Chamber recently, perhaps something of interest was washed ashore. An ancient artifact would be good. Traces of ancient activity would be great. But a piece of the God's limb would be even better. Who knows what surprises we may find. Looking for a god's limb? Kind of morbid shit you after. It's gonna make me kill the Geo boss, ain't it?
I've explored all this. There's no loot left. This place looks so ordinary. Can we really find anything valuable here? I don't mean the scenery, but rather that there should be something out of the ordinary. A big battle did just occur and all, and I don't even know where to begin looking here. Guyan Stone Forest is actually the perfect place to be, if you wish to learn about the gods or the history of the Archon War. Legend has it that Rex Lapis threw spears made of large rock into the sea here, piercing and crushing the overlord of the Vortex. They kind of look like big spears-ish. Dumblin? After many years of wind erosion, <coughs> stone spears have turned into the unique rock formations we see now. What we see now is just the part of them that remains. The stone spears hurled by Rex Lapis all those years ago were much greater, both in number and in size. But due to the different angles they landed at, their large centers of mass, Erosion by seawater and years of gravity. Many of them have been completely swallowed by the sea. So besides wind erosion, the initial collapsing of the stone spears also played a big part in the formation of Guyan Stone Forest. Well, a god able to fight one so powerful as Rex Lapis was certainly very strong in its own right. Indeed. This is where the value lies in research at Guyan Stone Forest. Most of the objects from that time were lost to the sea. But the gigantic waves created by the Overlord of the Vortex have given those sunken objects a chance to see the light of day again. So you're saying that if we look carefully, we'll be able to get very, very rich. <laughs> He's just looking to get rich. I, I mean, rich <coughs> archaeological knowledge and historical value. He just wants some money. That's, That's all he wants. <laughs> Since we brought so many people, I think it would be best to split up and look. Okay, then. I will go with my friend here. Although I have a smattering of knowledge in various disciplines, when it comes to archaeology, I can't compete with the expert here. Huh? M me? <laughs> What's the matter? This is your profession. Why are you so surprised? I get it. I'll escort him, then. Okay. If we find anything valuable or rare, let's meet on the shore opposite from here. The ancient god probably left oh boy. Of elemental marks. Ooh, a chest. Following them, yeah, he stopped spawning. Search much easier. It almost feels like this got instanced. I think it kind of sort of did. Bring it down. Freaking wrecked. Oh, I should have used Bennett's uh, thing, see what I could uh, got off of that. Ah, uh, you and your shield. I'm just gonna have to burn it, I guess. Guyan Stone Forest is a place where a use the training a dummy, and its remnants still affect the area to this day. Okay, I gotta use training dummy. Tell me to go there. All right. Suppose I shall. He just kind of showed up, didn't he? Yeah, the hits are uh, pretty good. <laughs> I 
little damage does definitely go a ways. I always thought it was uh, kind of bound to the AoE for uh, where the pillar's at, but it's definitely not. Apparently that thing don't give a damn about me. Yeah, the dead bird's sitting here. Oh, don't do that. You might drown. Work on that? Kinda. <laughs> yeah. Sitting here thinking I'm going the wrong way. Um. Hey, yeah, well, if you're just gonna sit there, wow, that guy is dumb. <laughs> I didn't know just sitting in the water would rot his shield. That's funny. The other ones ran away or something. Nope, they're there. They're there. Really good at throwing stuff at nothing, I, I guess. Oh, you're going to throw a fucking fire slime at me and then run off. I see how it is. I don't know. They didn't worry about it then. Oh, am I going to have to deal with those, like, four robot thing object in the center perhaps it emits the remnant strength of the actually it's going to put these down here i don't like these fuck them i have a contract i must put my personal feelings aside go ahead defeat them and recover the relic All right, I got this. Uh, they ain't even hurting me. It's just a stone slab. Ooh, crab! <laughs> Picked up a crab while I was at it. Oh man. Sherilyn, thanks for the follow. Let's head back. Follows are good. I like follows. Someone needs to I'll catch up. Burb. Wow. Yeah, well, I got some of those. That one up. Wait for two seconds and boop. Did you find anything? You call yourself a scholar of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that. What are you good for? Oh, time to punch that guy. We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried very hard to explain. This girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know anything about the surrounding ruins. I <coughs> know more than her. She left me to rely solely on guessing, I mean, experience, to find anything valuable to take back. Oh, what a waste of time. What a jerk. Uh, I've just been researching the God of Salt, so I'm not familiar with sea relics. Is that so strange? And you. You kept asking about how much mora everything is worth. Can the value of relics only be measured in mora? I... I mean, isn't measuring their value in Mora the easiest way? Uh, this also matches the traditions of Liyue, does it not? Now, now, calm down. No need to make a fuss. We were able to bring back some intriguing objects. Let's have a look. Why were there the water monster guys sitting around there? It's just kind of a weird thing to throw in there. What a shame. These objects were indeed washed ashore by the Overlord of the Vortex, but they have nothing to do with the god besides being in the vicinity at the time. This stone slab we found, however, 
has a mysterious pattern and faint aura of divine power. Perhaps it will be useful for research purposes. Quick, give it to me. The hell? <laughs> At least we didn't come for nothing. The power of the gods, yes. This is good. <laughs> but you need to just like chuck him in the water. Oh, but these other objects are certainly worth a little something, right? It should be enough to cover the cost of hiring you. It's all mine. Not at all. My quest to uncover the history of the God of Salt is because history can tell us about culture and beliefs. But you? You're just trying to use archaeology to get rich. Nonsense. I'm a professional archaeology researcher from Snezhnaya. I swear, if I'm lying, may the Lord of Geo strike me down. Oh, by the way, you probably don't want to sell that teacup. Oh, why's that? That's not an ancient teacup. It's part of Nihon's <laughs> collection. It must have fallen here along with the Jade Chamber. So unless you want to mess with the chi thing... Ah, I see. What a shame. It was of such high quality, too. See? You do want to sell these objects! But, I, so what? Why can't I pursue wealth both intellectual and material? Don't be so simple-minded. Huh. <sighs> All right, then. No need to stay here any longer. Hmm. I'm rather quite intrigued by the God of Salt, too, actually. Let's go to Sal Tarai next. That's right. Isn't that the thing where everybody was trying to glitch to get down in? Sounds like it would be. Yes, it is. Maybe I can actually go down there now. Without having to glitch and all that dumb stuff. Maybe I should use this charge attack a little bit more. You gonna just gonna float there? Ooh, that's a big Geo guy. I wonder how that's going to work. Probably not well, I'm going to guess. That took his armor down to nothing. No idea how much that hit for. <laughs> Damn camera angles. I think he's stuck in between those. Yeah, he's. This guy's too resistant to earth damage for it to really do much. Well, it didn't matter. Just the, just the fights with Zhang Li in it or whatever. It's like they're more chaotic and interesting, I guess. I heard that Sal Tarai was once the home of the God of Salt's people. Therefore, <laughs> there's sure to be loads of valuable relics nearby. Well, let's just chuck him in the ocean. You get all the salt he wants. According to legend, the people of the God of Salt, Havria, enjoyed prosperous lives under her protection. But this legend has been around for ages. With the countless scrap collectors and treasure hoarders in the area, there probably aren't many valuable things left here. Oh, good. That's just great. If I knew it was picked this clean before, I wouldn't have come. About that, I know there's a ruin deep in this cave here. It's related to the God of Salt, which is actually how the area originally got its name of Sal Tarai. However, the ruin entrance has been sealed by a mysterious power. 
Nobody has been able to break the seal. A few people kind of did. I found a mechanism that seemed to be related to the seal, but when I undid the mechanism, the seal wasn't affected at all. So at the moment, the seal's origin and how to break it are very important topics in my research on the God of Salt. I don't know. There's no concrete evidence. But I'm pretty sure the seal is meant to hide some kind of long-forgotten truth. The God of Salt was a benevolent god, adored by the people, not to mention powerful. She wouldn't have any kind of shameful secrets to hide. So, Probably would. the one who wants to hide some truth is very possibly her killer, Morax. Who cares about all that? It sounds like countless treasures of the God of Salt lie within this ruin, just waiting for someone to find them, right? You weren't listening at all, were you? Ugh. Even if there's a mountain of treasures inside, nobody can get in if the seal isn't broken. Ah, but we have the illustrious Mr. Zhang Li with us. He looks like he knows just about everything. <laughs> a little seal shouldn't be any trouble for him. Potentially. He probably put the seal there to begin with. This seal seems to be quite ancient. Even Mr. Zhang Li may not know all of its secrets. I may know something about it. Wh what? Over the years, I've heard various rumors with bits of knowledge about seals. Although their references seem rather disorderly, they do in fact contain the secret to breaking seals. Let's go take a look at the mechanism Miss Wanyan just mentioned. Okay, since Mr. Zhongli says so, follow me then. Where are we going? Yeah, back over there. That's just a bunch of broken down old whatevers. Here it is. There's some debris scattered here that, when put together, look like they definitely had to do with the God of Salt. Like, According to there's the a lot of salt in those. Inside, if one looks from a certain angle, the secret to the mechanism will be revealed. To look at it from a certain angle. Oh. Well, I know. There, you like put it together like that or something, right? Got to stand right here and look at it. Yeah, duh. See that? Although we activated the mechanism, nothing happened to the seal. There's probably That's more. Because there's actually another mechanism that must be activated. So just looking at it breaks the seal? Another? You figure somebody could have just been walking by and glanced and it would just whoop, pop open. This place seems <laughs> 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 I remember. Ooh. I think there's some elemental monuments here. It's kind of loud. So you're saying they're related to all this? When I investigated the seal last time, I had someone with a vision accompany me. But when we lit up all the elemental monuments, nothing happened. That's because you don't just need to activate them at the same time, but in a certain order as well. Otherwise, the seal will not be broken. The secret to this puzzle is hidden in the legends about the Archon War. Jianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. All desolate and devoid of life. Liyue is... Southeast, west, west, north. Okay. Yet even one haven is hard to find. To the north, to the east. Do the people of Liyue always talk in riddles? I, I think I've heard this saying before. Certainly you have. And the contents of this saying are also related to the God of Salt. To provide a haven for her people, whose lives had been ravaged by the Archon War, this benevolent God searched all across Liyue. At that time, with the chaotic fires of war engulfing the land, even one sliver of peace was a luxury. 
and that haven she eventually found is right here. Today, it is known as Sal Turai. How sad then. In the end, this peaceful place was destroyed by Morax. Oh. Okay, enough with these ancient stories. Now that we have the clue, hurry up and break the seal. Whatever happened doesn't matter as long as we can get inside that ruin. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. South, east, west, north. I got With it. With this clue, you should be able to solve the puzzle. But I gotta blow these guys up first. Might as well use it. It didn't really. If, it must have been like some AOE thing. Derp. Alright, let's see. South, east, west, north. Okay, we're. That looks like it'd be the north one. So there should be one over here. All right, need electricity. All right, Bennett, you get out and throw fish fish in here. South. East. West. North. Well, yay. Look! The seal really was broken! Mr. Zhongli... Put Bennett back in. Where, where'd he go? There he is. Gonna be epic. I swim my ass back out Not over there. Really. From there to there. Okay. Now... It's time that people learn the hidden truth lost to time. And I didn't have to glitch it. I use, I solved the puzzle. Yay. All right. Charge up your stamina. I don't want to drown in the bathtub. Look at that, I can go get some goodies now. Before entering the ruin, I have a proposal that will help us prevent the kind of senseless arguing between you two that we saw at Guyanstone Forest. Okay, what is it? I propose you two agree upon a contract, stipulating that we alternate who gets claim to each treasure we encounter, with only one object permitted per claim. To show my sincerity, I won't be taking any treasure. This will just be between you all. I don't agree. I mean, you want me to split the treasure with this amateur archaeologist? No, absolutely not. Sure. I don't agree either. <laughs> he will only defile the precious relics left behind by the God of Salt. I, I, I can't accept this. Well then, if the contract is not agreed upon, I will no longer serve as your consultant <coughs> on this expedition. Damn. You will have to rely on your own experience to find whatever treasures are hidden in this ruin, as well as traps. You, you, you have the audacity to demand this. <sighs> okay, then. Even half of the treasure in the long-sealed ruin of the God of Salt should be enough to make a fortune. If you want me to agree upon this contract, so be it. I just have one request, Mr. Shongli. If we discover the truth behind the God of Salt, you must judge it fairly, even if the truth harms Morax's image. I can accept this arrangement. Well then, let's go. Well, the Fatui guy's probably going to try to steal stuff and run off. I mean, it's kind of a given. Take my time jumping down in here, make sure I collect all the goodies. Come on, 
Link. There we go. Camera angle bad. Let's see, we need you to smash. That dive to float. Floaty. If I can come back here and it keeps respawning, this could be pretty damn nice. Oh, I love my Zhongli. He good. Did I know fun facts? I don't know if I did. They regenerated their... You got... You, they, oh, that ain't even right. They regenerated their damn shield, like, instantly. Does this work on them? No, no, it won't. Figures. He did it again. Oh, I know. I lo looked it up and I thought about doing it, but I was like, you know, probably serves a purpose and I'm just going to not do it. You just like use some character and like kind of scale down this little area and just right through it. Oh, you already explored it. See, this is, this is new to me. <laughs> Anything up there in the hole? Nope. Definitely looks like it'd be a good farm spot, like every time these things uh, regenerate. Yeah, I watched a little uh, guide of somebody doing it. And I, was, I was just like, eh, I don't need to. There's a bunch of goodies down here. I hope it stays open and just respawn and get everything. If it does, I'll be coming down here every other day. Don't see why it wouldn't. There is a lot of earth crap. There. <laughs> ah, good. I mean, he's got the lotus things down here. I need a whole bunch of these. Or lapis. I like everything. I want all the things. I'm collecting it all. On your 18th. Well, you got lucky as hell then. A lot more luck than I'd had. That's for sure. Oh. And I expected to find more than one chest, though, so far. There's a violet grass around here somewhere or something. And there's one over there, too. Oh, okay. Hey, I get a geo fragment. Yay. It'll help. I don't know who I should take, but I wouldn't be surprised that just throw in the geo uh thing and just kind of push him or himself somewhere. <clears throat> Ooh, return to stone. These statues? 
Oh, made of salt. All right. These are people. Um, I probably they shouldn't go down there. Followers of the God of Salt. How did they become this way? What in the world is hidden deep in this ruin? Stabilize. Order guide. Might have been overkill. Just saying. There's one way to get up there. A little better look for chests and stuff. Yeah. Around, look around. You know, the, the the second you pick that up, it's gonna be like Indiana Jones. You're gonna have to run your ass off. Look at this. <laughs> Filled halfway with salt. Uh, it just looks like a fancy salt holder. Seems like the god of salt was a god lacking in treasures. According to my knowledge, it's no ordinary vessel. Although it is only half full, it is also forever half full. That is to say, it is bottomless. Why well, salt? What? You're saying that even if I pour the salt out, the amount inside won't change? Exactly. Able to produce endless salt. The god of salt is powerful indeed. Yeah, but you might not want to pick it up because look at these guys. Finally, after all that effort, I've found precious treasure. I claim this is mine. I just need to pour the endless salt into a thousand or ten thousand bags. I can sell it <laughs> and make a fortune. Now he wants to be a salt vendor. Hey, how can you use a relic of the god of salt for such a shallow pursuit? If Mr. Clement wants this salt chalice. Then the next object we find will belong to Miss Wanyan, according to the contract agreed upon. Of course, as we agreed. <laughs> but how can anything be worth more than this rare find? Corpse of a god, maybe? Since we have a contract, it's no use for me to fight with him. Then let's move on, shall we? Okay, so he gets the bottomless salt thingy. Something tells me I'm going to wind up with all of it. Oh, they're, they're praying. <laughs> they're like, don't kill me, don't kill me, or something. Bye. He did. Or should be. Quake. If I jump off, will it close? Nope. All right. Door of resurrection. Ooh. There's a chest over there. I want it. Can I go around? Or up or something. Yeah, it's probably through that door. What do we have here? Ooh, it's a sword blade or something. <laughs> Just a simple ruler. That ain't no ruler. To be worth anything. This, if I remember correctly, this is some kind of measuring tool. Indeed, but the god of salt imbued it with another power. When you stick this ruler in the ground. The surrounding area will become covered in salt, much like a rising tide covers the earth. The deeper it is stuck in the ground, the more salt will appear. It is essentially a bumper harvest of salt. What? That, that's even better than the salt chalice! Well then, according to our contract, the salt ruler goes to Miss Wanyan. No, unacceptable. I paid for and organized this entire expedition. Why should I get the short end of the stick? And this girl has been useless. Why would she get anything? <laughs> Always breaking the contract. 
So you are saying you want to break the contract? So what if I break it? Now that I've seen how the mechanisms in this ruin work, I no longer need you. Are uh, you about to get killed? You hired who here? Why should I let you make the rules? Because you agreed to a contract. Rex Lapis once said, Ones who break their contracts shall suffer the wrath of the rock. That is one of your Liyue gods. I am from Snezhnaya. I will suffer the wrath of the rock. You may find it rather unpleasant. He's going to turn into salt. Hopefully. I only did 20. Where'd you go? You hiding around here somewhere. There you are. I shall confiscate your treasure as well. Ah. You are not worthy to continue any further into the ruin. Leave this place. Oh, darn you! Just you wait. Just kill him off! Kill him off! Dead! Done! You don't let him walk away? Clement's wrongdoing stemmed from greed, yes. But besides greed, there are many other things that may tempt us to break contracts. When people see the object of their dreams, how many are really able to control their desire and follow the contract? I think we should be honest with each other now. That is <laughs> true. Not a single member of this archaeological expedition came here for archaeology. Uh-oh. Why do you say that? Miss, you lack even the most 